Hi everyone, it's Mag here. It's the beginning of August, which means it's time for another Mission Inspiration over on our Facebook group. Now, this month, I've asked a special guest controller, namely Shell C from the Paper Octillo Studios, to set the 10 prompts for the mission this month. So, first of all, I'll show you the 10 prompts and the video that Shell's done. Then I'll get onto my art journal page and I'll join you back at the end. Hi, art agent specialists and cheers. I'm Agent SC, the guest mission controller for August. And this is your mission, should you choose to accept it, and I suggest you do. Step one, glue torn pieces of map. If you've torn up the map so no one can find you, this will be easy. Step two, sprinkle on some confetti and spray ink over it. This can be the confetti from the party we had last night. Step three, add rubber stamping. You know, like passports. <laughs> Step four, add a tree because you might need to hide under a tree from the black helicopters. Step five, glue on some thread or string. If it's untangled, you'll be able to find your way. Step six, make a focal image using a coloring book page. You know, it's nice to color in the airport when you're waiting for the plane. Step seven, make circles with paint in a paper tube. Hopefully you're not going down the tubes. Step eight, add shadows and highlights using black or white pen or pencil. Shadows are good for hiding in. Step nine, ink the edge of the page to create a border. And I don't mean the kind of border that you cross. And step 10, add a quote or a title. That's it for me. Bye. This video will self-destruct in three seconds. So I'm gonna jump right in using my 10 by 10 art journal and I have these couple of pages torn from an old atlas and this is a map of North America. And I'm just going to tear it into those four strips and then I'm going to glue those down onto my page. And the glue I'm using for this is just a bog standard multi-purpose glue from Coll. So now that my map fragments are stuck down to my page, I'm going to just knock back the pattern a little bit by adding a little bit of the light green and titanium white acrylic paints. I'm just going to mix them both together just to make a lighter variant of the green paint. And then I'm just going to add a wash of that color over the top of my entire page, just to knock back the pattern of the Atlas a little bit. And then when I'm happy with the amount of paint on the page, I'm going to bring out my heat gun and just give it a little bit of a gentle heat just to make sure it's all nice and dry before I move on to the next step. So step number two is to sprinkle on some confetti and spray with ink. Now I don't have any confetti, so I'm going to make my own. This is a stamp, oh, sorry, a punch from Stampin' Up! And I'm just going to punch out some little petal shapes um, from some book text to create my own confetti.
But to spray with ink, I'm going to use the Mini Mister and this Old Olive Reinca ink. I'm going to add the ink into the bottle and then just add some water, give it a shake, and then I'm going to spritz over all my confetti. And now I'm going to bring out my heat gun just to give it a gentle heat, just to dry it off so that I can move on to step number three. And my confetti is blowing everywhere. Okay, well that didn't work. So just sprinkling on the confetti and then spraying ink over the top doesn't do anything at all. Uh, the ink doesn't make your <coughs> confetti stick to the page or anything. It just literally blows away. So I'm gonna have to try and introduce some kind of glue to this. So what I will do is I'll see uh, if we can get some Mod Podge, which I have here, and see if we can kind of glue some of these bits of confetti down. Now, obviously I've used Stamping Up um, re with water so if I add Mod Podge to this page now, here, then that ink may move. So, experiment, let's see what happens. So here's the Mod Podge, so I'm just going to apply a thin layer of the Mod Podge onto my um, background and I'm just going to manually stick down my confetti fragments in a kind of pre-planned pattern on my page. So I think I'm pretty safe in the knowledge that these aren't going to move anywhere when I bring out my heat gun to dry it off before we move on to the next step. So step number three is to add rubber stamping. So for this I'm going to be using the Limo Circles stamp set from Indigo Blue designed by Limo Weber and I'm also going to be using the Potting Soil Archival Ink and I'm just going to stamp one of those circle images from the stamp set around my page and of course we're out journaling so it doesn't matter if we're not getting a totally even impression on the stamp so next step number four is to paint or add an image of a tree now i've just taken a, a black pen from my pen pot and i'm just going to go around and outline those pieces of confetti before I draw my tree onto my page. You'll see why in a little while. So now that I have some doodle lines all the way around my confetti pieces, it makes it much easier to draw in a stylized shape of the top of a tree. And then I can just as easily add in the tree trunk shape as well. So now I have the rough shape of a tree on my page, I can bring out some acrylic paint. This is the uh, chocolate brown and sage green paint from Paper Mania. And with a small brush, I'm just going to paint in and add a little bit more detail to the tree on my page.
So I'm fairly happy with my little tree that I've painted on there. So just going to add in a little bit more detail and then it's time to move on to the next step. So step number five is to glue on uh, some twine or thread. So I'm using the super thick Slap It On from Indigo Blue, which is a gel medium, a very heavy gel medium. And I'm just uh, applying some of that gel medium down onto the page. And then I have some green garden twine that I've stolen from the garden shed. Don't tell Ian. So as you can see, I'm just wrapping the twine around my fingers just to create some loops and circles with that. And I'm just embedding that down into that thick gel medium. Um, and this is probably going to take overnight to dry because it is quite thick. So I'm going to do the next stage and then I'm going to leave it overnight. So step number six is to add a colouring book focal image. So I'm taking a postcard from this Enchanted Forest postcard book from Joanna Basford. And I'm going to, by magic, colour it in. There you go, because you don't want to sit there and watch me colouring in. And I've already coloured it in and I've cut it out from the postcard. And I'm now going to glue it down onto my art journal page. So to stick it down on my page, I'm just going to use a bog standard glue stick. This is just a, a Prit stick um, where you can purchase from any stationery store. So the next step, number seven, is to make circle marks with a paper tube. So I'm just going to use this Christmas green acrylic paint. I'm also going to bring out some brown and white in a little while. And I'm just going to randomly put um, well, not randomly put, I'm actually going to put the circles from the tube around the stamped circles that I've already put on my page and then just add one or two little extras. Then using the same paint that I did to create the tree trunk earlier on, which is the chocolate brown acrylic paint from Paper Mania, I'm just going to add some of those circles on too. Then finally for this stage, I'm just going to grab my titanium white and a smaller plastic tube. This is a lid from the Mini Mister that I used earlier. And I'm just going to add some of those smaller circles onto the page as well. And then in a few moments, I'm going to bring out my heat gun just to go over the acrylic paint to make sure that's nice and dry. And then I'm going to leave this page overnight for the heavy gel medium from Indigo Blue that's holding the twine. So that's going to dry completely so I can work on it the next day. So it's the next morning and step number eight is to add shadows and highlights with black and white. So as you can see, that heavy gel medium is now nice and dry. It's gone completely see-through. It's a little bit of a shine to it. And I'm using these Ink Tense or Derwent Ink Tense pencils. I've got the Ink Black and Antique White. And I'm just going to use those two just to add some shadows and highlights. Now the um, Ink Black one, works really really well but the antique white one doesn't work quite so well. So now just using a small detail paintbrush I've just got some water uh, and I'm just going to activate those Inktense pencils um, and then create my shadows and just um, Add a little bit of detail in around and just work them into the page. And as I mentioned earlier, the black one works really, really well, but the antique white kind of disappears and you don't really see it. So I'm going to have to add some extra white highlights in a little while. 
So to add those white highlights, I'm bringing out my Signo White Opaque Rollerball Pen and I'm just going to add some little white highlights around the edge of the tree and on the tree trunk as well. So I'm fairly happy with those highlights, so it's time to move on to step number nine, which is to add a border to your page with ink. So as I've already used the potting soil ink, I'm going to carry on with that colour and using this foam blending tool from Ranger, Tim Holtz uh, ink blending tool, I'm just going to add a border all the way around my page. Now obviously I have my um, spiral um, bound bit at the top of the page, so I can't add it up there all the way across, but I will add it a little bit in that gap between the two springs. So the page is starting to come together now. We're on our final stages, so I'm just adding a little bit more just up to the top there, just to kind of create a frame around the page. And I think we're ready to move on to the last and final stage. So the final step, number 10, is to finish with journaling, a quote or a title. So for this, I'm going to use my Letra Target Label Maker. I've already researched and got my quote uh, that I want to use and I'm just typing out the words and I'm going to do it in three strips and then I'm actually going to put uh, who the quote is from underneath that. And because the label maker uses self-adhesive tape, I don't have to glue this down. So it's fairly easy just to tear the back off and stick them down on the page. And you know, I could go over with a matte medium later to make sure that it's not gonna peel off, but I've never had a single one peel off from any previous pages that I've used this letter tag label maker on. So to finish off, I'm just going to add a little bit of a black border around my quote blocks with the bog standard food ball pen. And I think that's it. I'm going to call this page complete. Mission accomplished. So I hope you enjoyed my take on Shell's 10 prompts for the mission inspiration for August. If you have, please remember to give it a thumbs up, share the video with all your friends, and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. That's all for the mission inspiration for this month. I'll be back again in September, uh, but you'll see me in a couple of days. That's all from me. See you all again real soon. Bye for now.